These buyer leads can be given to you. You can do Zillow, Facebook, open houses, cold calls, whatever. That doesn't matter to me. What matters is two things, that you understand the philosophy that you have to have thousands of one-on-one -on -one conversations before you're gonna hit your goal, and two, that you have 15 to 20 active buyers and sellers at all times if you wanna close one deal a week. You know, I don't really care about if I'm losing out on multiple offers. I'm going to have so many irons in the fire. See, here, here's the problem. When you ask an agent how many active buyers and sellers they're working with, the most common answer is four. Okay. Well, statistically, that's 0.8 deals, which is zero. Okay. So you're, you have four buyers or sellers you're working with right now. You are working on zero deals statistically. Now maybe two or three close, but I'm talking about statistically that's none. And then once those two or three close, if they do, what now, right? We, we need consistent sales, we need consistency, okay? So you can just take this to the bank. If you have 15 to 20 active buyers and sellers at all times, you're gonna close one deal a week. You know, one of them may be having a hard time with multiple offers and they've made seven offers on seven properties and lost all of them. Okay, the next person was a listing that you sold in two days because you had 10 multiple offers. The next one was a buyer that got lucky and won his bid. The next one was a buyer that made an offer on a property that nobody really wanted and there wasn't any multiple offers. The next person was a buyer who made tons of multiple offers and didn't get anything and then finally got something on the eighth one, right? So. Concentrating on one situation or one prospect or how this, how that, you know, what you really need to be focusing on is, is what's the volume of prospects that I have that might do something in the next few months and might use me as their real estate agent because if that number's not where it needs to be, then none of this matters. But if you really want to take your business to new levels, then when are you gonna take time to make it about quantity? At some point, it has to be about volume. Quality's great. You know, but we all give great quality. The really top agents have that great balance between quality and quantity. If you're not building and adding to your database, remember thousands of conversations, one-on-one -on -one conversations between you and your goal, right? And if you're using the excuse that I was with clients all day, when really you had about three hours that you could have made calls, but you didn't take advantage of that because you decided to do other things that were less important than actually having more one-on-one -on -one conversations. Even if you can squeeze like two one-on-one -on -one conversations in, okay, that's chipping away at those thousands that you have to have over the next five years to get where you really want to be. It's just a decision that you have to make. You know, you can, you can lie to yourself about the market. You can lie to yourself about the quality you're giving and that, and that you're building your business when you're really not. You know, or you can say, I'm not going to make excuses for myself anymore. I want to be here in the next five years, and this is what I'm going to do about it. Even when you're getting buyer leads given to you, you still got to call them, which is prospecting, right? So even in that game, you're still calling and having these one-on-one. -on -one, like I said, I don't care where you get the one-on-one -on -one conversations from. These buyer leads can be given to you. You can do Zillow, Facebook, open houses, cold calls, whatever. That doesn't matter to me. What matters is two things, that you understand the philosophy that you have to have thousands of one-on-one -on -one conversations before you're gonna hit your goal, and two, that you have 15 to 20 active buyers and sellers at all times if you wanna close one deal a week. And if you understand those two principles right there, okay, then, then you and you you execute on those two principles, then you're gonna you're gonna be fine. You're gonna close one a week, and within five years, you're gonna have a million dollar a year business. If you don't do that, then you're not. It's it's real, it's simple math. It's the ABCs and real estate one-on-one -on -one is super simple stuff. People are overcomplicated with the shiny pennies and what all this coach is saying and that coach is saying and this broker and that broker and the different things on social and the, you know, everybody wants to give advice about stuff. But at the end of the day, super simple, right? The people that overcomplicate it are just trying to say, hey, it's real complicated. If you buy my program, then I'll, I'll solve all your problems, right? Um, so, and the same thing with many other entities and institutions, <clears throat> you know, they're making this thing seem really complicated and agents who try to, not on purpose, but make the business seem complicated, they are unsuccessful, 
right? You have to have a simple laid out process and plan and you have to know where you want to be in five years and reverse engineer how you're going to get there, right? And it needs to be a, a comprehensive, you know, you know, direct, you know, uh, not so scattered with so many different avenues of a plan. And when you're brand new, you don't know what avenues. So, you know, you have to try a bunch of stuff, but really quickly you need to identify what those top two or three things are that really work well for you and erase all the other things and go all in on these things, right? And then put your plan together. Okay, I see that these three activities are gonna get me where I wanna go if I do them consistently. So here's my five-year plan to have those thousands of conversations and, and, and keep my pipeline full to the level that Ricky says that'll close me one deal a week. And that I learned over the past two decades and everything that I did wrong and everything I wish I would've known, number one. Number two, you have all the technology to do what took me 15 hours a day within a matter of hours right and still have your whole day ahead of you to go crush it even more so you guys can do things 10 times faster and have 10 times more knowledge than i had um you know it's just it's amazing how far ahead you guys are than me um, and it's even more astounding how many people don't take advantage of it right but i mean as far as calls go it's it, people they like they try to avoid making calls by spending thousands of dollars on leads just to turn right around and call them. You just, you can't get around the talking to people part, right? So it's just like cut out all the money you're spending on leads and marketing and all that and just get people's phone numbers. You can get for a couple pennies and just call people and have these conversations and get through those thousands of conversations as quick as you can over the next couple years so you can get to the motherland where you have all this automatic business coming in and then you can go do other things, right? We don't want to be agents forever, okay? I didn't want to roof houses forever, you know, and, and we don't want to be real estate agents forever. We do a sale, we have to work our ass off, then we have to go do another, we have to work hard to go get another sale and work, 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 work. Okay, eventually you want to get to a place where you have an automatic, you know, autopilot business where now you can go endeavor into other business opportunities, right? And kind of go to the next level and the next level and the next level, right? So there's more to this. There's a deeper, there's something bigger going on. There's a deeper purpose here, right? There's always a next chapter. All right, you guys are in the building stages of your real estate business right now. You know, focus, 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 and build that thing up to where you're doing a million dollars a year in GCI, autopilot, okay? Spending five hours a week on your real estate business, and then take all that extra time and go spend some more time with the family and build other businesses, right? Invest your money. This is simple stuff. It's just you have to be able to see past today. You have to be able to see past next year. I want all of you to have the most incredible 2022 ever, right? Like the best year ever. But really the only way to do that is number one, work your ass off this year, okay? To plant the seeds for next year and then work your ass off next year. All that's done. You guys are hard workers and honest and dependable. You're gonna have an amazing year next year. But what I really want to see is that you understand the career strategies and the, and the, and the, and the, the lifetime principles behind where you could be in five years if you do this right. You know, and if you take advantage of the technology and the, the opportunities that are right there in front of our face, 